Hello and welcome to this tech tip from Will. In this video I'll look at the different methods for installing Windows 10. By the end of this video you'll have a good understanding of what install methods are available for Windows 10 and which installation method is right for you. So let's get started. In this video I will look at four methods for installing Windows 10 onto a computer. These are using the Windows DVD, using a bootable USB flash drive, deploying Windows with a Windows Deployment Services or WDS server and using a network share to perform the install. Let's have a look at the different install methods in more detail. The first install method I'll look at is the Windows DVD. Using a DVD to install Windows is a popular choice and is an installation method that's been around for a number of years now. When you purchase a retail copy of Windows off the shelf, a DVD is usually included with that copy of Windows. You can then insert the DVD into the computer, boot to it and install Windows. If you're a customer of Microsoft's Volume Licensing Scheme or if you are subscribed to the Microsoft Developer Network, you're able to download Windows 10 as an ISO file. This ISO file can be burned to a DVD which can then be used to install Windows 10. Regardless of whether you purchase the Windows DVD or create your own DVD, using a DVD to install Windows 10 is a good choice if you have just one or two devices. Using just one DVD to install Windows 10 onto hundreds or even thousands of computers is just not practical. Of course, you could create multiple DVDs to make it easier. However, the task of creating multiple DVDs, inserting these DVDs into the computers, booting to them and then managing the installations could result in a lot of administrative overhead. Another downside to using a DVD as your install method is that DVDs are a form of optical media. Compared to other install methods, optical media is typically the slowest and is easily damaged from scuffs and scratches. Furthermore, as time goes on, and with more mobile and tablet devices entering the market, DVDs are becoming increasingly deprecated. If you plan to install Windows 10 onto a device that doesn't have an optical drive, a Windows DVD cannot be used and you'll have to find some other method. This brings us to the next install method, using a USB flash drive. Starting with Windows 10, Microsoft has started to offer USB flash drives as an alternative form of installation media when you purchase a retail copy of Windows 10. When you purchase Windows 10 off the shelf, if you pay a little extra, you'll receive the operating system on a USB flash drive rather than on a DVD. Of course, if you were to purchase the DVD instead of the USB flash drive, you can always purchase your own USB device and create a bootable USB flash drive using your Windows DVD later on. Installing Windows 10 with a USB flash drive is essentially the same as using the Windows DVD. The only difference is that the install files are stored on a bootable USB device rather than a DVD. However, using a USB flash drive to install Windows does offer some benefits over the DVD. The most notable difference is speed. Since USB devices use flash media rather than optical media, the transfer rates for data is much faster, making USB a quicker method of installation. Furthermore, the data stored on a USB flash drive is less likely to become damaged or corrupted than it is on a DVD. In addition, USB flash drives offer a way to install Windows onto devices like tablets and small laptops that don't have optical drives built in. Of course, in order to use USB as your chosen install method, the device itself must support USB booting. Although there are benefits to using USB flash drives as your chosen method of installation, flash drives are still only suitable for performing one or two installations. Flash drives unfortunately have the same problems with scalability as the Windows DVD. The next install method I will look at is WDS, or Windows Deployment Services. 
Windows Deployment Services is an installation method normally found in larger companies. With Windows Deployment Services, the administrator is able to deploy the Windows 10 operating system onto multiple devices over the network. However, Windows Deployment Services does require some additional infrastructure to set up. First, you'll need to deploy a Windows Server. On this server, the administrator must then install the Windows Deployment Services role. Other services required for Windows Deployment Services are DNS and DHCP. Another service is Active Directory. Windows Deployment Services is scalable enough to work in both Active Directory and non-Active Directory environments. On top of that, the client computers that receive the Windows 10 operating system must have a network card that supports Pixie Boot. Pixie, or Preboot Execution Environment, is a technology that allows a computer to boot from the network. Windows Deployment Services essentially works like this. A client computer that has no operating system on it whatsoever is powered on. Next, the client computer performs a Pixie boot from its network card and receives an IP address from the DHCP server. This puts the client computer onto the network. Once connected to the network, the client computer is able to boot into a Windows PE environment and download the Windows 10 operating system from the WDS server. Assuming you have the bandwidth, it is possible for hundreds of computers to connect to the WDS server and download an operating system at the same time. Of course, you may be asking at this point, if multiple computers were to connect to the WDS server at the same time, wouldn't this slow down all of the installs? Well, quite simply, the answer is no. The reason for this is because Windows Deployment Services supports a technology called Multicast. Multicast essentially allows the exact same data to be sent over the network to multiple computers at the same time. Without multicast, the computers would essentially be stuck in a queue and would have to wait their turn for the data. Considering the investment in infrastructure required, Windows Deployment Services is often found in larger environments that have a lot of computers. The last install method I'll look at is Network Share. Installing Windows 10 using a network share is, in many ways, similar to Windows Deployment Services. With a network share, all you need is a file server with a shared folder. This shared folder is where the Windows 10 installation files are located. Elsewhere on the network, all the administrator has to do is boot the destination computer from a Windows PE boot disk. Once booted into Windows PE, the administrator is able to connect to the shared folder on the file server and access the Windows 10 installation files. As you can see, the only real difference with a network share is that instead of connecting to a WDS server to download the operating system, you connect to a network share instead. Using a network share is also easier and cheaper to implement than Windows deployment services. However, there's one significant downside to using a network share. Network shares are only suitable for small environments that require just one or two installs. The reason for this is because, unlike Windows deployment services, installing from a network share does not support multicast. Installing Windows 10 onto multiple devices at the same time using a network share will significantly slow down the install time. Without multicast support, Computers are unable to gain access to the exact same install files at the same time, causing slow install times. Well, that covers the different methods of installing Windows 10. In the next video, I'll put this knowledge to use and will perform a clean installation of Windows 10. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. For more Windows 10 videos, please see our YouTube channel. And remember to support these videos by liking them and by subscribing to our channel. Many thanks and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip.